Hello, my name is Peter Tanyanywa. Today we're in Ward 17, where we'll be talking about an issue which has caught the attention of Ward 17 residents. The issue of rampant construction of fuel service stations. The residents are objecting to three new proposed service stations in their neighborhood. And of course, this issue is not only isolated to Ward 17, but the whole of Harare. Today, we get to hear the justifications from the authorities and also the objections from you, the residents. Join us as we explore. Now we're joined by Ms. Carol Pierce. She's the former Ward 17 Residents and Red Payers Association Chairperson and she's also a community leader in Ward 17. So um, can you please provide a brief background about these new proposed uh, safe stations and also what are the objections of the residents? Um, Peter, we already have eight or nine service stations within a one and a half kilometer radius in Avondale. Um, this is one of the sites at which they are proposing to put on three new petrol stations, three in addition to eight in such a small area and residents are extremely concerned for three reasons. One is we don't think we need them. The second is we think it's very dangerous, particularly the site where we are now standing, which is Argyle Road in Avondale. And the third is we don't understand why the City Town Planning Office has allowed these three new petrol stations to be uh, uh, allowed in such a small area. Okay, so what are the main concerns of the residents regarding the construction of these new fuel stations? Well, as I say, firstly, we don't want them because we've got plenty of our own. We think that they're dangerous, we think they might encourage, some people think it might encourage theft or vandalism of their properties, their nearby properties. The ma my main concern is that they present a huge traffic hazard, particularly on this road in Argyle. All right. Um, so how is the exi existing um, congestion and safety issues on Argyle Road influence the residents' opposition to the new fuel stations? Well, this particular area where all three, road, three petrol stations are planned is very, very full of huge amount of through traffic as well as local traffic. If you look up on the hill there, you'll see traffic coming down the hill in vast quantities even at this time of the day, going from east to west and then coming from west to east to go up the hill and to go to other suburbs. We see traffic coming from north to south, going from town to uh, Lomagundi and beyond. And it, in the evenings, it's absolutely terrifying. There's no traffic lights, there are no street lights. There's street kids manning these robots. Um, there are four or five lanes of traffic going in each direction. And now they want to add a petrol station on top of all that. It just seems to me insane. All right, so what are some of the um, moves that the residents have taken in objection to voice their concerns? I understand that you have uh, submitted a petition to the authorities. Well, we've been very active and very quickly active because we know that for it to be stopped, it has to be stopped now before people start building infrastructure and getting petrol companies involved. Um, where if you don't act quickly, you haven't got a hope. So what we've done is we've had meetings, we've raised petitions, we've alerted the Herald. I've been to see the Minister of, Ministry of Local Government and had a very interesting chat there. We've been to town planning and we're following up because we will not allow this to happen. All right, you have mentioned um, a number of authorities that you have approached. Have you received any acknowledgement so far from these authorities as residents uh, in light to these uh, proposed new fuel stations? I have not yet. I have followed up this week and I was told that my objection is with the town planning department. I'm now going to speak to the town planner today. All right, so as far as you um, as a former residence chairperson, um, 
what are some of the um, uh, laws that you acknowledge that govern, that must govern this construction of such fuel step stations, especially within uh, residential areas? I think that pe the planners who allow this to go ahead, and we can't understand why, do not clearly understand the situation. I don't believe that the traffic inspector has been involved, for instance. Although I've written to him, the message has gone unanswered. I believe that if you were to see what happens on these roads, you would recognize the dangers, not only to other cars, not just to accidents, not just to residents, but to pedestrians who want to navigate these extremely narrow roads at night and have absolutely nowhere safe to walk. All right. Um, I was talking to the Ward 17 councillor, Mr. Epumogotora, and he was telling me that um, uh, these safe stations, these new developments that uh, residents are objecting to, have already been uh, put into the local development plan. Um, I don't know, because he, had, he was now saying that um, the residents would have already been consulted. So now the petitions would seem um, void in a way. So I don't know, were you consulted about this local development plan, which is now including these new service stations in these areas? The point is a very important one. Nobody was consulted about any of these plans. Our plans, this area is called the Mabel Rain Plan, the Mabel Rain Plan sits in the Mabel Rain office. The Mabel Rain DC has not told us about the plans and we didn't know that the plan existed. Um, our own DC, who is Mount Pleasant, didn't know about the plan. Our councillor didn't know about the plan. We discovered by pure chance, three, three or four weeks ago, that these areas, these sites were actually zoned for petrol stations when six months ago they were just ordinary residential. So in six months somebody has persuaded some planner to rezone these sites for petrol stations behind our banks. Okay, so uh, going forward as residents what are your expectations from the authorities, local government authorities, um, city of Harare, um, to address these um, concerns, what are your expectations as residents in connection to these um, proposed uh, fuel stations? I've written to the town clerk, the director of planning, town planning officer, and the deputy director of uh, some some organisation in the local government. I hope that they will do the right thing, get the residents together or some representatives, get the traffic inspectors together on site and listen to our complaints and do what we ask, which is to rezone them so that they are no longer petrol stations. But as we round up, can you just tell us where these three new proposed service stations are set to be and why? Um, how is it going to be for you residents, why you really feel that we cannot have this in our neighbourhood? So the three new petrol stations are zoned in a 1.5 kilometer radius from each other. There's with this one here, 500 meters away, sorry, this one here being on the corner of Argyle and West Road. There's one 500 meters away on the corner of Tyrone and West Road. And the one on the other side of the hill is the corner of Argyle and Connaught, another 500 meters away. So this is why it's unacceptable. We have enough petrol stations. We don't need more petrol stations to, to make the traffic even worse than it is. This is uh, John Beckris. I am an Avondale West resident, which means Ward 17. Uh, and uh, we have been very surprised to hear recently that uh, a bunch of uh, new petrol stations, fuel stations, are being planned for Avondale um, in, in an area which already is very well served with uh, enough fuel stations. And these new ones are, according to what we hear, going to be set up in what were ordinary private residences before, within very close distance to one another. 
and we are very surprised and very disappointed because we have not been properly consulted in good time and we are very worried about the implications in terms of uh, traffic congestion, the, the, the location of some of those new proposed uh, uh, stations uh, at intersections where already there are problems with uh, motorists uh, uh, basically taking license and doing all sorts of crazy things and causing accidents. And we think that uh, it might get worse if the petrol stations are there attracting a whole lot more traffic to turn at the wrong place at the wrong time just in order to get into the, the station. So we have uh, started mobilizing because uh, we have to express our position to indicate that we are not happy and uh, we don't need any more fuel stations in this particular area. We already have enough stations. Thank you very much. The reason that problem that they were not consulted when the development plan uh, was drafted because it's, it's supposed to be they say the, the loss is that when there is any development plan that is being that is being planned there should be consultation with the residents they are supposed to put their input before the local plan they, they come into effect but in this case they were not consulted but when i consulted the planners the planners said that uh, uh, they, they, they consulted the residents so i'm still trying to see and um, trying to, to get the more information pertaining to the issue because the residents have got a legitimate complaint uh, against the development of those uh, fuel stations. It is a legitimate complaint. So as the resident representative, I would demand it to make sure that the, their complaints are addressed and the amicably. And they, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm engaged in the town plague, uh, the director of works and the city planners to see how this issue can be resolved. Residents are totally against the issue of fuel stations, especially in the residential areas. Why? Because fuel stations are like a time bomb. It's dangerous to have them because they also contaminate underground water, especially the boreholes. They have also other many issues which fuel stations will cause, like high vehicle traffic and human traffic within neighborhoods, within neighborhoods and residential communities. So many residents are against it. As the Cora, we actually support residents' stand against these uh, fuel station issues. It is really a problem, and one wonders why they are putting so many fuel stations instead of putting things that actually benefit residents more. So we are totally against this. Well, there you have it. What 17 residents are united in their opposition against this proposed new service stations. Well, our hope is that the authorities will engage them in a meaningful dialogue towards resolving these concerns. Join me next time. I'm Peter Tenyanyo.